Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Vanilla Runs, despite promising that he's gonna play Challenge Runs in the Binding of Eyes because he's a scumbag. Fuck that dude, right? And also, to a certain extent, fuck Samson. But we've been having some really good Vanilla Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Last episode uh, was a pretty good example of that as well. We ended up beating Bluebell. Oh, I shouldn't spoil it. Sorry, we ended up beating Bluebell, um, you know, Paul Bunyan's mythical ox. I, that might not even be correct. Bluebell might actually be a kind of waxed cheese here in Canada. But anyway, uh, yeah, go watch that episode if you haven't seen it already. But I'm going to spoil it for you. We ended up beating Isaac with bells on. It wasn't necessarily the easiest fight, but uh, by way of having uh, an extra special... Two of Hearts card, we ended up fairly easily taking it. The only reason it was difficult is because we ended up spending a hundred years on the chest as a floor uh, because I couldn't seem to find the exit. But apart from that, relatively, uh, you know, easy. Now, I am gonna, uh, you know, I'm not gonna use the game kit against this guy. Okay, I am playing the worst Samson game of all time as of right now. Let's, let's stop that shit. Let's cut it straight out. Wrath, I need you to come up here, my man. All right. Um, yeah, I, I've been playing really badly so far, but this is, I'm almost relishing the opportunity to, to play with Samson because, you know, last time we played as Kane, Kane to a certain extent, he's like Isaac, or I guess to a lesser extent Judas, it's kind of like playing on easy mode. This, Samson, Eve, and Blue Baby, oh my god, we died already. That was absolutely abysmal. Samson, Blue Baby, and Eve are kind of like, you know, playing the game the way it's meant to be played, which is allowing your ass to get kicked. So we already lost, thanks for coming out guys, it's been a good episode, and I will... See you right now, because that would be uh, pure scum for me if I literally stopped the video a minute and 36 seconds in. Um, mad apologies for that death right off the bat. So obviously, what are the problems with Samson? He's bad. He starts with low health. He starts with rage, which is fine. Uh, but it's not as good as I have previously been intuitively led to believe by my own kind of biases. Uh, that's not to say you can't make a great run out of a Samson run. Uh, you just have to get the kind of the right combinations of items as soon as possible to hopefully help you succeed. Now, the game kid was a great item to get earlier on. I probably should have used that against Wrath because clearly that ended up being what kind of ended up putting me six feet under. Uh, but, oh, we do have a Tinted Rock here as well. Excellent. Uh, but, you know, we can make something happen with the money bag here as well. It's just going to be kind of a more roundabout way to uh, get it done, I suppose. There is another Tinted Rock for us, which gives us a little bit of extra health. And, fighting against Monstro, no big deal. In a weird way, Monstro is actually a little bit harder than Monstro 2, because you can't just goad him into uh, the easiest attacks of all time. Easiest attacks to dodge, that is. Not to mention, oh my god, I got hit there. Not to mention that, um, you know, there's absolutely no way for us to build rage against him. And I don't really feel like I have the impetus to use a bomb, because if I do use a bomb, uh, then we are going to be bombless on the next floor, which means Tinted Rocks are unfortunately going to be impossible for me to access. Now, unfortunately... Um, it's gonna be a long fight here, you know, this is kind of Samson in a nutshell. No, this is Samson in a nutshell. Help, I'm a shitty Isaac character and I'm trapped in this nutshell. Fuck you, yeah, eat shit. That's my impression of Samson, I guess. I mean, maybe I'm projecting a little bit. That was awful, uh, lucky for him to get that. So you really thought I was gonna say that was awful damage for me to take. What can I say? I'm not entirely predictable. Now let me go put my commentary back on autopilot for the remainder of the video. Okay. HP upgrade, good get. Everything else, we're going to ignore on this floor. We're going to leave. We'll come back to it later. Basement part two, obviously, I'm, I'm psyched about being here because we're alive, which is more than we can say about how we did last time. But uh, I am going to need to pick up a key if we're going to get to the item room. And, you know, we're going to need to pick up a lot of keys, uh, ideally, because, well, first off, just because why not? But secondly, because we have the money bag. So eventually, we're going to start getting enough money to make it possible for us to go to the shops. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, but, you know, if I want to pick up uh, a blue candle or something like that, if I want to pick up, uh, you know, a battery, if I want to pick up an ice cream cone, I'm going to need a, a key to access the shop, which seems like a bad business model to me. Like, if you're in this business to make profit, you know, why add an extreme barrier to entry for people to just get into your store? I, I suppose, you know, it's like a Costco membership. Maybe you can go to the shops for free outside of the world of the Binding of Isaac, but a ladder's going to cost you, like, 40 bucks. Whereas in this game, it only costs you 15 cents, but you do have to pay to get in. So we did get one key there, which is good because I was kind of sick of that metaphor that I created. Our pill is Balls of Steel. Kind of wish I hadn't popped it right away, but it's hard to be mad about getting a positive like that. And our item room contains the Game Kit again, and now that is a very weird coincidence. So Game Kit is going to be an awesome item, basically the Unicorn Horn, but it allows us to get some health back as well. Uh, I should use it before the boss because I kind of want to see... Refresh my memory, basically, on how many uh, rooms it takes to recharge the game, kid. Uh, so, you know what? Why don't we use it on this room right here? I apologize, by the way, if you guys can hear my uh, sound coming through my microphone. I'm just going to turn the game down a little bit here. 
Uh, it could be a four room or it could be a six room. If it's six, then I probably should have saved it for the boss. But at least, you know, the more you know, information is power. Um, yeah, I'm using some new headphones here that I think have a little bit of an audio boost. So unfortunately, there might be a little bit of bleed into the microphone. If so, I apologize and I will fix it up in the future. In any case, first things first. Uh, yep, yeah, it is going to be a six charge item, which is unfortunate. I will almost certainly not be able to get enough charges back. Uh, to use Game Kid against the boss, which is always unfortunate because you obviously want to use that against the boss so that you can take as little damage as possible, encourage an early deal with the devil, which is hopefully not Brimstone, because to be quite honest with you, I'm getting a little sick of Brimstone. Having it in the last episode probably saved my life, but it also, you know, at some point, it's getting to be a little bit monotonous. Like, every fucking run is Brimstone, Brimstone, Brimstone. I get that the glitch is cool, but, you know, thanks for the item, give me Mom's Knife or something instead so I can, you know, placate myself a little bit. So we are going to be uh, a couple rooms shy of being able to get a charge back. Hopefully we end up fighting like a Duke of Flies on the uh, first boss room because he would be the ideal enemy for me to fight as I will have Rage. There are two possible secret rooms locations, secret room locations I guess I should say, but I do lack the ability to insert a metal object into a lock and turn it to open the shop, so I think we will just ignore that for now. Uh, you know, fight against little Steven, not fantastic for me, but also not terrible in all likelihood. I would much prefer to get the base damage increase as opposed to getting the, uh familiar on this fight, but there's like an 85% chance that I'll get the familiar, so we should probably uh, have some more realistic possible expectations for how this is going to go down. Now, so far so good. We're definitely not going to get rage procced unless we end up uh, killing one of these guys much faster than we kill the other one, which is kind of unlikely. I think rage only goes up every second enemy that you kill as well. That might just be me talking out of my ass though, so ignore that. One of these guys has got to die soon. I really don't want to F around with fighting both of them at the same time, but we kind of don't have a choice in the matter right now. Steven! You were meant to bring balance to the Samson run, not to... Oh my god, that shot came in really quickly, but hey, we're done with that. Now we just trap this guy in a permanent equilibrium or purgatory of despair. For him, not for me. And he is dead, and we didn't take damage, and we got the damage increase, and we got the deal with the devil. So this could take me into permanent spirit art territory already. You know what? It's definitely not uh, worth just getting Demon Baby for that, so I'm going to be happy with the damage upgrade that I got. Better than I was expecting, but certainly uh, I have no or limited interest. I was... Oh, my God, get out of there. I had no or limited interest in getting... Uh, Demon Baby for two Spirit Hearts, which is among the worst deals you can probably take. If I had ten hearts, I'd be psyched. I'd be like, yeah, that's basically a free Demon Baby. But uh, in my current position where I only have two hearts, I really can't afford to give these up for anything less than a Mom's Knife. Even if there was like a Spirit of the Night, I would probably be like, yeah, it's good, but I can't risk it right now. So uh, we also cannot access that money. So our item room is still looking like probably the predominant use uh, of our key here if I want to be a smart dude. And I do want to be a smart dude. To impress my mommy, so if I let... Oh, that was a little scary, but we are getting a little stronger after each hit, so they should explode any second now in a chain reaction of great despair. Um, probably could use my game kid, so I am, uh, just to speed it up a little bit. And if we lose the spirit art, don't get me wrong, I will be the first person to say that we'll be going to that uh, secret, or the curse room if I end up losing the spirit heart and thus running exclusively on red hearts. But for now, again, can't really justify it. Oh, there's another penny back here. Maybe the shop will indeed end up being worthwhile. I would love to get something that either made the Game Kid better or was better than the Game Kid to begin with. For example, uh, if I was able to pick up a battery, great. If I was able to pick up a blue candle, fuck the Game Kid. We're going to skip it instead. Uh, we'll see what we get as a drop here. Another key, which is good because I was definitely going to the item room. Telepathy for Dummies is a garbage item that I feel should be taken out of the game. But, you know, that's just me projecting my own beliefs onto the designer. Let's head downwards, and we do have one more bomb we could use to access the secret room, maybe get some extra money. But we need to make sure that there's not multiple locations for the secret room first, or that we get multiple bombs. It's going to take us to 12 cents, and then it, after that it's going to take us to 14 cents, which is going to put us very, very close. It's actually going to make the shop an inevitability, because with the money bag, I sincerely doubt that we will not be able... Uh, to get one more penny by the end of this floor, even though there's not that many rooms left. Looks like I'm not going to be able to use Game Kid for this fight either, because I'm a big ding-dong and used it just a little bit too early. There's our 15th cent. There is our 17th cent. And with the second bomb, there's also this Tinted Rock for sure. There's another Spirit Heart. And from our... Oh, there's poop there. From our Mob Trap Room. Ah, uh, yes. We'll go through with this. So that's another 3 cents as well as a bomb. This is good, because I'm going to look for the Secret Room, even if it doesn't have a... 
plethora of money in it, it can still pay out with something amazing like an epic fetus or something like that. And mob trap rooms as Samson kind of need to reevaluate your priorities because you might be thinking, oh, those are fairly hard rooms relative to the norm. Yes. But, uh, there's more enemies than usual, so, you know, you, you also get a chance to build up some excellent damage. Although, Rage does, uh, top out sooner than I had, uh, always thought. So, just wait for this guy to pop up. If I can hit these guys one at a time, makes my life substantially easier. Frame rate's tanking just for a second here. After we leave this room, it should figure it out. It's almost like there's a room-by-room room memory leak in The Binding of Isaac. I have no idea, though. Well, I don't even know what memory leak really means. Because I'm not a games programmer, the closest I've ever come is making a trivia game in Q Basic in 7th grade that had exactly the same questions every single time. Game Dev! Okay, what do we have down here? Tons of money, access to the curse room, and people are going to be furious, but I'm not going to go to it because uh, it would still cost us one full spirit heart that I can't really afford just yet. Our shop contains the portable slot, which is trash. We'll buy another spirit heart. Almost want to buy the portable slot just to never have to see it again. But instead, we will just leave, because I don't want to waste seven cents for no reason. So, time for us to fight our boss here. And again, I'm hoping it's an easy one or an enemy that summons a lot of uh, minions of its own so that we can build up some decent damage. Famine is, uh, you know, I would classify it as an easy one. We are going to get a single cube of meat here, so obviously the, the most important thing for me, or the, the best possible outlook for me, is going to be picking up a... Uh, Actually, this fits the build both ways. Not only does it summon enemies, but also uh, fairly easy enough in its own right. But anyway, um, high the skill ceiling, or the, the reward ceiling for me here, is obviously going to be a deal with the devil that gives me a great item. Uh, but, you know, we'll probably have to give up all of our hearts to make that happen as well, so it's not necessarily a foregone conclusion that even if there is one, we would end up taking it. I've taken a lot of damage, so we probably won't even get one in the first place. And bad damage as well. The damage that I do not uh, feel good about taking. Hey, we do get a deal with the devil, though. There's our cube of meats. Now, if there's a pact, I might take it. There's Brimstone again. I'm sorry! I need to give it a try, at the very least. I could have taken Guppy's Paw as well. I, I can't not take it, is the thing. Because our run is already so close to being uh, a disaster. I, I'll, I'm an adult, I'll deal with the consequences for my actions. Uh, if, if people decide to turn off the video and leave because it's brimstone, that's fine. Just know that this is going to be a much more exciting run than the last one. Because as of right now, yes, I have brimstone, sure, la-di-da. Well, that was very lucky as well. But I also have almost no health. So, uh, and the game kit is effectively defensively worthless for us now. Uh, it, it's not going to be as much of a walk in the park as the last episode was, unless I get exceptionally lucky. Uh, and managed to pick up a lot of health. Oh, I really thought that I could pop the game kid before I got hit there. All right, obviously, uh, money, the utmost importance to me now. Uh, if I could actually get some keys, that would be even better. And we get the cancer trinket again. There's something about the random number generator that we're dealing with right now. So, just hide out for a second. Do that, and a couple more shots should be okay. And keep in mind, you know, we might not stick with Brimstone for the entirety of this uh, mission. I might annoy you even more and pick up Mom's knife later because I like it even better. But, you know, we're going to need to get some health in order to make that happen first. So we traded two bombs for three bombs. That's fine. Um, now we have four bombs in a weird sequential order here. So the secret room, I mean, is probably something that we could look for, but I'm not super concerned about it yet. We got another series of bombs. If I can get a bombs or key pill. Oh, no! I'm a fool! If I can get a bombs or key pill, I'd be very happy. Uh, hey, there's a key for us. Let's uh, head down to the shop first. I have a feeling that we're probably going to end up fighting greed. Even if we do fight greed, it's extra money. It might be the steam sale, and we won't fight him in the future, so I appreciate it. And he might drop a key regardless. Uh, we actually didn't. We got the compass, which is beautiful. And I'm going to save the rest of our money because we do not have the steam sale. So, oh, there's a mini boss up here now that I can see with the compass. Uh, so we'll go fight this mini boss. My hope, I guess, is that it's going to be Gluttony. And Gluttony will end up dropping uh, some delicious HP upgrades for us. But even if it's not Gluttony, if it ends up being... Uh, oh, another key. That's fantastic. If it ends up being Envy, that's fine too. Super Sloth, I think, has the potential to give us Bob's Rotten Head. I'm going to... This is the first time this uh, run where I'm abusing the... Brim snap glitch, but uh, you know, all's fair in love and war. Uh, if we, oh, careful. If we end up getting something out of him that's an actual item and a decent item, I'd be fine with it. But hey, the tarot card's cool too. A little bit of extra money and some more bombs, because Lord knows I need those right now. We do have the Hermit card, which we can use on the next floor. I was going to lament the fact that I didn't find this card before, uh, but it really doesn't matter, because it'll save us a key no matter when we use it. I just wanted to see if there's a penny in there. 
Uh, our item room is kind of of the utmost importance right now. HP upgrades are something that I'm going to be very much looking forward to. Uh, I'm firing my laser. You know, since we already have brimstone, kind of seems like a complete waste of time to me. So I'll pick it up just so it doesn't show up again. Game Kid is a... I wouldn't necessarily say it's a better item, but it's, it's an item uh, that does a similar thing. It also gives us a brief period of invincibility, and if we ever get health back, it can give us some more health. So uh, I think Game Kid's a little bit better. Most of the time, I don't really dislike... Shoop to whoop, uh, but in, in this situation, it's not really what we need moving forward. So that being said, still feeling pretty positive about this run. Obviously, the elephant in the room is our uh, health and the fact that our health is composed entirely of spirit hearts. But uh, as long as we keep getting random spirit heart drops like so, I am a happy camper for now. And if we can survive long enough to... Uh, oh, careful here. Yeah, I knew I was going to take damage. But if we can survive long enough to get the Polaroid, uh, you know, our chances of survivability long term actually go up a great deal, I would say. So, we, for once, we have the game kit available for our fight here. It's going to be a fight against uh, Peep. And I don't really want to use the game kit, as weird as it sounds. It's a great... Oh, it's a great item. Uh, but not really on this boss fight, and I think I might actually cause myself to get hit running into him, running into him as invis invincibility runs out. What I guess what I mean to say is that it should be fairly simple for me to beat this guy without getting hit regardless. I realize that makes no sense because I've already been hit once, but uh, I mean, if I, if I play consciously, I shouldn't have to waste my uh, item ability here. We get another deal with the devil, a range upgrade, which is obviously worthless, and now the game's just trolling the shit out of me. Krampus, please? Nope. But not uh, any items that I would feel bad about missing either. So we move on. There is another... Ah, you know what? That is actually... Uh, please hit those and die. Thank you very much. Um, there is actually a mini-boss in the secret room, which I think there's no way it can't be greed, which is fantastic, because that means uh, we can get some more money there, and greed is not in the shop on this floor. So actually, I might as well pop this hermit card. Ah, you know what? Let's explore the floor. And I'll, I'll do something silly, and I'll pop the Hermit card when we're right next to the shop anyway. We might as well go through all of this uh, trouble if we're going to come this way anyway. There's an extra damage increase as well as some Spirit Hearts. Game has been very good about dropping those. This is uh, exactly why I saved the Game Kid. This could save us taking one or more hits fairly easily. Didn't actually kill everybody there, uh, but we can finish them off pretty easily afterwards. Now, I uh, would not be remiss if I fought... Yeah, it's probably worth it. Would not be, uh, uh, remiss is not the right word in this situation, but I wouldn't feel bad if I ended up fighting war in this situation. We can get a second cube of meat. Again, it, it's nice to have these familiars that fire as you're charging your brimstone shots, uh, because it protects you from things to a certain extent, just like spiders and flies and bears, oh my. And now that I fight these zombies, I'm like, going, racking my brain thinking of the last run, and I'm like, did I ever fight zombies on the last run? I think that might have been one of the few runs in my entire life where there were just zero zombies over the course of the entire thing. Now, I had no business taking damage there. That being said, um, we are doing absolutely perfect against this boss. Oh, not perfect, obviously. We got another deal with the devil and a speed upgrade. HP upgrades don't exist anymore, by the way, so never fear. Um, I still don't think I can take any of these. I mean, I'm tempted to take the Pact because obviously it gives you, or sorry, the Mark. No, it's the Pact because it gives you the Spirit Heart drops. But there's no point, really, for me to do that. I'm just going to use the Hermit card right away. Might as well take Mom's Purse. Uh, do we, this pill is balls of steel, right? I'm going to get the money back from it regardless. Oh, we don't know what it is. It's a speed upgrade. Okay, that's fine. Demon Judgment would be tempting if I could ever get HP, but I can't. So let's just ignore the fact that that ever existed. And, uh, again, I'm very pleased with the items that we have so far, but, uh, we still not in the clear by any stretch of the imagination when it comes to health. I need a Book of Revelations or a Nail or at least a Mitre or a Relic if I'm going to have any chance in hell uh, of snagging, um, victory here. I think, anyway, unless we just get exceptionally lucky with Spirit Hearts, as we, you know, admittedly have for kind of a while here. The Fool card takes us back to the spawn. Uh, if we still have that when uh, we finish the mom fight, we can go back and possibly get a deal with the devil there. Not that we've had the opportunity to uh, pick up anything from a deal with the devil in a long time, but still. In our item room, we get 10 extra bombs. Worth the trip, but not much else, I guess, really. Uh, that's going to pay for us going to the secret room, at least, and fighting that mini-boss, and hopefully picking up a steam sale or a selection of extra dollars. Now, uh, again... Tempting to play Demon Judgment, but not tempting enough. Tempting to go to the Curse Room, but not tempting enough. I guess I could use the Game Kid to go to the Curse Room and only take half as much damage. Still, uh, your powers of persuasion are immune to plastic lips. 
And we are going to take uh, all the money that we can get here. We still have one more shop remaining where we'll probably fight greed. But maybe not. I've been wrong uh, many, many times before about many, many different things. So let's not act like it's a foregone conclusion just yet. We are doing fine. But I can't shake the feeling that this is uh, just a temporary... Uh, oh my god, that is a ton of cash right there. This is a temporary feeling of doing fine, and pretty soon I'm going to be like, Welp, we have no chance to win. Uh, but, you know, I really can't complain about the situation we're in right now, especially from a damage standpoint. So, we're going to be fighting... It's actually Super Greed. Should still be pretty easy, as you can tell, in all likelihood by the damage we're doing already. If he spawns enemies, it is not much of a risk, as long as they stay in basically the same plane. Easy kills, builds rage up a little bit. We got a key and a substantial amount of money for our troubles. And a pill, which is something we don't know. Range up. All right, I don't know how that affects Brimstone. Probably not at all, but uh, the Brimstone Chronicles continue. It is totally possible, by the way, that if I didn't take Brimstone, I might be dead right now. I don't think Guppy's Paw would have really saved me too much. There is an arcade on this floor. Does that matter? Maybe. We'll see. Don't die here, please. You know what? I hate to do it because it's such a waste, but I, I really did not want to take damage, so I used uh, Game Kid there, as you can tell by the incessant music continuing onwards. Not that it's not really incessant, I've just heard it a lot, uh, I guess. And we'll see what we have in our item room. It is an attack fly, so again, RNGs is hooking us up with basically the same numbers that we had last time, or the same uh, items that we had last time, which I guess are technically numbers from a game development standpoint. Uh, we have our boss fight very close by, but I don't really want to go to it right away, because why bother? There's a key that'll help us go to the shop, there's another key that'll help us go someplace else, I suppose. And we don't know where the secret room is on this floor, because we can't see where the- The only reason we knew where the secret room was on the last floor is because we knew where the uh, mini boss was, due to the compass showing where mini bosses are. Um, but, that being said, still pretty pleased. Uh, we have not fought a mini-boss in this floor yet, so there's a pretty distinct possibility that we end up fighting Greed. That's okay. Not a, a major problem. Uh, I would love to get rid of the Game Kid for a Book of Revelations, though. That is, uh, oh, or even a, a Blue Candle. That's fine, too. It gives us a little bit of defensive power. Uh, but Book of Revelations would be the number one thing. Definitely do not want the Teleporter. So I'm not even going to go fight the enemies in there. It's not worth my time. Uh, the... We might do try something interesting in this arcade, actually, especially if I get a better uh, spacebar item from the shop. Let's just ignore this for a second. But if I manage to... Uh, okay, dead bird foot I don't really like. If I manage to get a better spacebar item, and I don't... Do I really need the game kid for the mom fight? It might be a, an asset, at the very least. But let's go to the shop first. I'm thinking we can go into the shop. If there's a better spacebar item, take our game kid to the arcade and then play the blood bank as many times as we can with invincibility, thereby possibly snagging me uh, that mythical HP upgrade I've been after for a long time. Although at this point, do I even want the HP upgrade? Maybe the permanent Polaroid invincibility is better. Well, we get the 9 volt. That's fine. And we'll also buy this pill, which we don't know what it does. This one just didn't do anything, which is an interesting change from pills being very good for us. Uh, you know what? I don't want the HP upgrade. If mom gives us an HP upgrade, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll take it and then we'll use the Fool card and come out and try to win the HP upgrade from the other thing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I could also use the Game Kid. Remind me to use the Fool card here. I totally realize that I'm an idiot, and if I don't use the Game Kid here, I could use it on Demon Judgment and possibly snag a free deal with the Devil item. I'm glad I woke up to that possibility before we got too, too far into things. Okay, regular version of Mom. Probably an ideal circumstance. Uh, we'll be able to build a fuck ton of rage, and that's why I'm just being patient for now. I'll build rage up to its maximum damage ceiling. I will try to avoid using the game kid, just so that we can continue to spam damage against, uh, in all likelihood, spam damage primarily against the uh, bodily segments here. And we're one more hit away from disaster for mom, I would say. Especially now, that my earlier prediction proved wrong, and actually that one did as well. But now she's dead. So we get the HP upgrade, okay. So this is kind of what I had planned for. We also take the Polaroid. Keep in mind we do have uh, the coin, or sorry, the regular purse. Then we use the Fool card. And now we have a very interesting situation at our disposal. Let me tell you, first things first, we're going to come down here and we're going to irritate the bejesus out of you uh, by playing the Blood Bank as many times as we can. Oh, Permanent Polaroid Invincibility is going to allow me to play it so many times and so much faster as well. Okay, so, you know, every time we come down here and we get one more half heart and see how many half hearts there are on the map, uh, I'll try to snag another HP upgrade and then I'm going to use the Game Kid 
uh, to try to play as many Demon Judgment plays as I can, because that would possibly give me a fantastic item. So, you know, I'm trying this new min-max style on for size. Will it work out for me? We'll see. Three plays per heart is pretty nice. Uh, mind you, we don't get any regular judgments, so I'm an idiot. Uh, but... Uh, let me think about this. There's a full red heart, which is kind of a waste. I'm really hoping it pays out sooner rather than later, because this is going to become tedious pretty quickly. But, you know, if it gives us the HP upgrade, that's a speed upgrade, so the time will pay for itself pretty quickly. Tempted to just pay spirit hearts here, but it's n there's no fun in that, I guess. I don't think I can play it four times. No, it can come pretty close. Just see if maybe we get a, a heart drop from these guys instead for our troubles. Uh, or another a better trinket, actually, is possible as well. Uh, I don't know how that would scale. Maybe that would make Rage top out faster. I don't really like the idea of it, though. Uh, let's shoot all this stuff just in case there's hearts in it because I really... Oh, there is! Okay, good. <laughs> that saves us, uh, probably costs us a little bit of time in the long run, but anyway. Maybe it'll save us a little bit of time. Oh my god, just pay out! It's, it's inevitable at this point. Thank you for the heart again, and uh, the money, which is not necessary, but the heart is... That's uh, an invisible invincible. Alright, so we'll go back and get some more health. I apologize for this taking forever. Not my fault, it's the game's fault. So... Yeah, let's let's leave and get some more health and make this happen because this is what I'm thinking. It is has got to be the right way to play. Maybe I should just get this demon judgment instead. Like do this on the demon judgment instead of doing it on the blood bank. In fact, that might be. Let's do one more on this guy. Then on the way back to demon judgment. If this doesn't pay out, we'll just go straight to demon judgment and try things that way instead. Because we will save the game kid to use against demon judgment. Now, is the cancer trinket better than the bird foot trinket in this situation? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I I just play the game. Please pay out, please pay out. Oh my god, just more money? What am I gonna do with money? I can't do anything with money, it's, it's worthless. Uh, okay, so we'll get back to full health here. Then we'll go play the Demon Judge. It's possible, remember, that we might earn a deal with the Devil. Uh, straight up, and I guess that's why I wanted to play the Blood Bank Wars, so that if I walk back into the mom fight and then the deal with the Devil's there, then I can just get it immediately. Uh, but anyway, Demon Judgment. We will spend a bomb, possibly find the secret room as well, worth noting. We did indeed, alright. And there's a little bit more money in there, not that that's worth anything at all to us. So we'll go into permanent Polaroid invincibility here, if I can save the game kid, fine by me. Hey, he paid out with the dead cat, an item that is uh, straight up trash. In my opinion, at least. So, uh, let's not pick that up because we still want permanent Polaroid invincibility. There is a deal with the devil. What you got for me? Oh, one uh, heart for mom's knife. All of a sudden, can we take this without losing our health? I don't want to risk it for brother Bobby, but... Oh, there's another deal with the devil over here, don't mind if I do. Uh, down to the next floor. We're in a weird spot. Uh, we do... Oh, there is a library here that is straight up worth going into. Um, we have a ton of damage, or we should at least. Uh, I haven't really tested it. We'll need a boss fight to kind of make it confirmed. But we need, desperately, more health. Book of Revelations will do that for us. Uh, okay, so let's take Book of Revelations. It's still We have the 9 volt plus Book of Revelations. It puts us in a good place. Uh, but, is it one yet? Absolutely not. We should be fighting war here, which will give us a second cube of meat, which will give us a, uh, something that does extra damage while we're charging our brimstone shot, which is important. What do I need now? Or what do I want now, I guess, more accurately? Because we might not need anything else. Uh, poison touch would be an asset. What else? And anything that gives us extra damage, even, uh... Or anything that gives us extra HP, let's be honest. Poison Touch would be fine, but the really number one heavy hitter would be like the Relic or the Mitre or something like that. Or uh, the, the Nun's Habit, but I'm not sure how that would even drop, if it could even drop. So, there's Book of Revelations. It should charge in four rooms, I believe, instead of six. Do we know what this pill does? Balls of Steel. Oh, that could be a lifesaver. And we've really got to start stacking up this health and taking advantage of it. Oh, we're not fighting war, we're fighting death. I forgot, because I'm an idiot. That's fine. Death is already in the phase where he is... Oh, not, damage I should have not taken, but... We've ended up uh, kind of honestly breaking the game here a little bit. So as long as I can just avoid taking damage, which is uh, unlikely, but possible, uh, I could still win this game fairly easily, but I need to really not take damage. Now, Spear to the Night is the other item that I was going to say that I wanted. A flying item would be great for us, unfortunately. It would put us in a position where I'd have zero health if I took it, I believe. So I don't think we can even do it. Uh, in good faith, anyway. <laughs> Pretty soon I would find myself dead, I think. Now, the good news, of course, is that my damage is uh, out of control right now. Now, I am thinking, I'm just spitballing here. If Brimstone works, like if you tap the button more, 
uh, then Brimstone does more damage. Maybe it works the same way for Mom's Knife. I think I guess it's kind of unlikely, but, uh, you know, why don't we test this out when we're fighting some higher uh, health bosses like we will be very shortly. Really can't afford to take damage here. That was a bad pill to waste uh, or to risk damage towards getting, but that's fine. We are nearly on our boss fight here. Now, of course, I wish I had taken Guppy's Paw instead of Brimstone, although it is worth noting that if we didn't take Brimstone earlier in the game, we might not have lived to get to the position where we could have Mom's Knife in the first place. So, let's not spend too much time crying over uh, regrets. Instead, let's just try to beat the game here. So, I'm going to try to tap Mom's Knife a little bit more in the process and see if it does more damage. I don't really think so, at least uh, my early guesses here. My preliminary guesses are that it's pretty much just exactly the same. Uh, it's doing a ton of damage, though. Our damage is actually in a very, very good position. And we'll head up to the cathedral with the compass. And I I think I broke even on that floor uh, with respect to health. That's what I get for mentioning the compass. Balls of Steel is fantastic. Uh, that's what I get for mentioning the compass, though. We are on a Curse of Darkness floor now. Uh, not worth it. We want to save our keys for the chest, which we are very, very likely to get to at this point. Uh, there is a... That's got to be a library, I suppose, at this point. Uh, do I want to spend a key to go to it? I kind of do, but I, I, even if there's Book of Revelations, or sorry, even if there's Book of Belial, I want to stick with Book of Revelations because it will keep me alive at this point. Although the damage that we would do uh, with Book of Belial would be not unprecedented probably, but quite good to just keep things modest, I guess. Bad damage. Very bad damage for me to take there. I was doing quite well in that fight until then. Uh, is this the way to get to the boss fight? Remains to be seen, I suppose. Let's go to this guy into coming down here and we'll fire a bomb at him. Didn't really work. Second level cube of meat, save me! Uh, I can't quite reach him without him. Yep, that's gonna. Just bad damage. I'm frustrated with myself at this point. This is the right way to go to get to the boss, though, so let's just take him out right away. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't expect that we will be hit uh, more than twice. Two or three times, maybe. Uh, due to the insane damage that we'll be doing, is doing, especially when Polaroid Invincibility allows us to just get up in his face. His big disgrace, waving his feather all over the place. Singing, we will, we will, dock you. Okay, he's in the third phase already. As you can see, dumb amounts of damage I am doing here. Really just crazy, nonsensical amounts of damage uh, that Isaac cannot compete with. Amazingly, did not take a hit in there. Uh, but did did take one there, almost equally amazing, I suppose. You gotta die during this. Uh, and with two more angel fetuses. There we go, took him out easy. So we have four more health, or sorry, four more keys. And we will look for an item that can make it even better. Sacrificial dagger, poison touch, and an HP upgrade. We're not gonna take the HP upgrade. Uh, we are just gonna... We're, sacrificial dagger is great, though. That's that's something we can really uh, abuse when we get permanent Polaroid invincibility. So I'm excited about that. We're not in the, in the clear yet. Obviously, um, that spirit art helps us a lot. We've found the boss room straight away. Now we might be more or less in the clear. <laughs> it's amazing. Things can change that quickly, but they, that's mostly just because we found the boss room straight away. Bad damage for me to take again. Can't uh, offer much in my own defense for that, but now again we gain two spirit hearts back, and we're gonna go fight the boss. I think we've won. I think that'll be like the third run in a row where we've beaten Blue Baby, and that's with kind of like an Isaac hiatus in the middle there as I took like half a week off of the game. Yeah, Blue Baby can't do shit to us, so that is another easy, easy victory, basically courtesy of uh, Brimstone. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you weren't frustrated too much by the inclusion of Brimstone there. And uh, yeah, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I'm just having so much fun with vanilla runs right now because luck is on my side. What can I say? I will return to challenge runs eventually, so I'll be doing some archaeology or, you know, paleontology. That's dinosaurs exclusively, not challenge runs. But su suggest your dinosaur of a challenge run, and I will take a look at it at some point and possibly do it. Uh, but for now, vanilla runs are treating me right and killing me softly with their songs. So I will see you next time, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.